हे हाय एंड वेलकम बैक आई होप दैट यू आर एंजॉइंग दिस ट्रेनिंग सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड द अर्डिनो मेथड टू प्रोग्राम द कोड इन द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर ओके एंड वी सॉ दैट इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोग्राम द कोड इन द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू प्रोग्राम द बूट लोडर इन द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर यूजिंग यू एस बी एस पी एंड वंस दैट इज डन लेटम वी यूज द यू एस बी टू टी टी एल कन्वर्टम और यू एस बी टू यू आर्ट कन्वर्टम इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोग्राम द कोड इन द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द प्रोसेस टू प्रोग्राम द बूट लोडर इन द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर यूजिंग यू एस बी एस पी ओके ऑल राइट सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस वीडियो विच इज अबाउट प्रोग्रामिंग बूट लोडर इन एट मेगा थ्री टू एट माइक्रो कंट्रोलर ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस वीडियो नाउ so you already know the learning objective of this video the first point is bootloader programming process so you will understand the process to program the bootloader in the microcontroller then the next point is how to configure fuse bytes so you know whenever we program the bootloader in the microcontroller at that time we need to configure the fuse bytes and from where we should get these fuse bytes i will show you in this video okay so we will program the bootloader and along with that we will configure the fuse bytes all right so now let's start with this video so you already know whenever we have to program the bootloader in the microcontroller we have to follow the method one uh, which is using usb asp programmer so you already know the process we need to connect uh, the isp pins of usb asp to isp pins of uh, atmega328 microcontroller and once that is done later we need to connect usb side of usb asp to usb port of pc then uh, we need to open the uh, avr dot software and after that we need to select the uh, program file or hex file and once that is done later uh, we need to upload the code or uh, the hex file in the microcontroller okay so that's basically the process to program the bootloader in the microcontroller now before we program the bootloader in the microcontroller uh first of all let me show you the setup and from that uh, you will get to know uh, how exactly we are connecting you know our hardware with the uh, with the usb asp programmer and later once the setup is clear later uh, we will see the process to program uh, the bootloader in the microcontroller okay so now let me show you the setup so uh, you can see the setup is actually pretty simple uh, from here we are providing the power to our system you already know that we are actually using the lab bench power supply to power the system so from here the power is coming and this is basically the dc mail jack and these are actually the wires uh, which i which we are connecting to the usb asp programmer so i will show you in a moment so you can see this is basically the usb asp programmer uh, that uh, i have connected to this uh, usb hub and later this usb hub is actually connected to the computer okay so that's basically the setup it's very simple we have directly connected uh, our hardware with the usb asp programmer all right now let's go to the computer and let's program the code uh, bootloader in the microcontroller so in order to program the bootloader in the microcontroller you have to open this software which is avr dudes and using this software we actually program the bootloader in the microcontroller okay and this is basically the free software which you can uh, you, you can actually download from the internet or i will also provide you this particular software okay now uh, first of all what we have to do we have to select the controller uh, in which we have to program the bootloader so from this drop down menu you can actually select uh, the multiple controllers or you know uh, sorry the controller that you want to program in our case it's basically atmega328 so you just have to click on uh, this detect button and this software is actually automatically going to detect uh, the controller okay so you just observe uh, this terminal window this is also a terminal window or uh, you can also call it as command window okay so i will just click on detect and you can see the software has now detected uh, the uh, atmega328 mi uh, microcontroller and this is basically the signature of the microcontroller every controller is going to have a unique uh, signature so you can see this is basically the signature of the controller that we are using and you can see the same signature you will find it here 1e 950f all right so now the software has successfully detected the controller now it's time to select the programmer so we are using uh, you can see there are actually different uh, programmers but we are dealing with usb asp 
so you have to select this particular option usb asp okay now once you have selected the programmer later you have to select the bootloader file okay and in order to select the bootloader file you have to click on this particular option and then you can see this is basically the path uh, for bootloader file so i will take you to the uh, arduino ide uh, you know we extracted this particular uh, zip file then inside that we got this software right application or executable file and here you have to click on hardware then you have to click on arduino then avr then you can see here there is actually a folder called bootloaders so here you will find the bootloaders for the different microcontroller which sits on arduino boards okay so there is there are boards for you know uh, uh there, there is a board for uh, atomega 328 microcontroller which is actually sitting on arduino uno board then there is a board for atomega 256 microcontroller which sits on uh, arduino mega board so likewise there are actually different boards from the arduino organization right now as we are dealing with arduino uno board okay atomega 328 microcontroller so we need to select this particular bootloader file okay rest of the files uh, you don't need to bother about rest of the files okay so this file is actually very important and we are going to select this file now through this particular software all right so you have to you have to click on this one and later you can see the path is actually the same bootloader optiboot and here you can see there are actually four hex files and out of which we need to select this one as i told you if you are dealing with atmega 168 then you need to select this one if you are dealing with atmega 8 then you need to select this one and if you are dealing with atmega 328 which act, which also sits on you know uh, arduino micro board okay so in that case you need to select this one but as we are dealing with arduino uno board so we need to select this one so i will select this one and after that i will click on open and once that is done later you have to uh, you have to actually select the fuse bytes so again i will show you where uh, you will get these values of fuse bytes so for that you have to go to avr then uh, you can see there is actually one file which is board.txt and you have to open this particular file which is board.txt and inside this file you will get the fuse bytes for different uh, boards of arduino organi organization okay so there is arduino un board then uh, there is arduino uno board with which we are dealing we are actually creating a hardware uh, which is uh, similar to arduino uno then uh, if you are dealing with arduino uh, decimilla board then you need to select these fuse bytes okay so here you will get all the information related to you know uh, fuse bytes of arduino decimilla board so likewise for different boards there will be different fuse bytes for you can see for arduino uh, nano uh, these are actually the fuse bytes all right now as we are dealing with arduino uno board we are creating a uh, board similar to arduino uno board so these are actually the fuse bytes uh, with which we need to deal so you can see here it's written l which stands for low fuse bytes so here we need to enter this particular value 0 cross ff and then for high fuse bytes uh, we need to enter de 0 cross de so you need to enter here like you will you will have to type the value or you know uh, these these are actually hexa hexadecimal values okay then the extended fuse bytes so you can see here e is written so that's basically the extended fuse bytes whose value is 0 cross fd then the next one is log bits so the value of log bits is 0 cross uh, 0f now uh, he here you can see the value of uh, this log bit is 0 cross cf so these days controllers that you will see in market they are actually going to have this particular value instead of this value okay and also i have configured these values uh, because i have programmed the bootloader in the microcontroller you know when you will purchase a new microcontroller from the market at that time here actually you will find different values so you need to check what's the values given in this board.txt file and accordingly you have to uh, you know enter those values in this uh, fuse uh, fuse bytes okay and these fuse bytes have some significance and uh, about that i am not going to discuss in this particular training because it will be too much uh, towards the programming part so the in this in this training we are actually focusing on the hardware parts so this much information is actually more than uh, enough from the hardware point of view okay so i hope that you got we need to program these values okay and once you type these values here later you have to check this particular byte uh, uh, sorry this particular box 
and once that is done later you have to click on write so it's going to write uh, the fuse bytes in the microcontroller all right and once that is done later again you have to click on write so that will actually program the fuse byte a uh, log byte in the microcontroller so once uh, these fuse bytes are programmed in the microcontroller later you have to click on this particular button which is program so this will actually program the bootloader in the microcontroller okay now uh, let me click on program all right so the programming process is completed and the bootloader is now programmed successfully programmed in the controller okay so that was all about the process to program the bootloader in the microcontroller all right and i hope that every single thing that we discussed in this particular video is now clear to you and still if you have any kind of doubt related to any point that we discussed in this particular video then do not hesitate to ask any kind of question ask me the questions and i will help you with that okay all right so that's what i wanted to tell in this video now i will see you in the next video which is about programming first code in atmega328 microcontroller using usb to uart converter okay so i will see you in next video now